Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content and particularly for the women over 40. Now, if you've been watching me, hopefully you have, you have, you have heard me talk about, stop, see me stop like that? Okay, that's what you do. <laughs> I was seeing, I was about to giggle. I was like, okay. don't giggle, girl, don't giggle. It's okay. Oh no, we're gonna keep the giggles in too. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you've been watching me, you've heard me talk time and time and time, y'all probably ad nauseum about my village, and that's because I love them so much. Well, today, the original village, my foundation, my ride or die, my here to the wheels fall off, <laughs> are here. And we're gonna talk about sisterhood so you'll get to see why I love them so much, why they love me so much, and why they are my foundation. Y'all better not start crying already. <laughs> why why we get along so well? <laughs> 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 why they are my everything, why we are Karma's godmother, and why Karma is Shadia's other mama, why Alicia is the Mimi. This is this is you're gonna get this get a glimpse of what true sisterhood looks like and, and everything and everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. Maybe not the not the too ugly. We but well, 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 there's, yes. well, well, there's rarely any ugly. Well to be there's honest. rarely ugliness amongst us, but we have the things that are ugly Go outside. outside. Yes, yes. That we, we won't take care of each though. other. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. So, but you'll get to see. You get to get a peek in on how we how we roll with with, with one another and how we just how, how the village that we are. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. All of that. So, if you like to see that. Go ahead and get you a little drink, get you a little knickknack. Mm. You can, can be a libation, mm. you know, or you can get a Coke or a glass of iced tea or some water. Mm. But um, I think this is going to be fun. We have not, we kind of discussed it just a little bit, but we don't really know what very we're going to talk about. It's, it's going to be very, it's going to be very authentic. And we're just going to go Give with it. Give us some grace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to see that, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. One, two, three. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so I am the elder of the bunch. Um, and you all know me. I'm the elder, but not the bait. Who am I? I, I we need, need to give, give each other a title. title. Okay, so I'm the elder of the bunch. I don't know what my official duty is. What, what, what I can tell you is, Carmen is the baby of the bunch and the official mama of the bunch. I don't know how you get to be the baby and the mama. I'll say it's innately in me. I mean, it is. I'm sorry. It is who you okay. are. Yes. And okay. we admire that about Absolutely. You. It's my um, passion for our sisterhood. Okay. Yeah. Well, me, Alicia is the middle child of the bunch. You know what that means, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go. but I am so loved because I have the ability to love on a little sister and a older sister for which I come to for wise counsel. So it is important for us to stay connected. We do a great job we do, in that. We, do. we are I, many, I fall, many miles I honestly, away. I honestly feel like, like I, I, I feel like I fall short. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to let you. I know. <laughs> I know. Why but do you feel like that? that? Cause I am, the, I am the one that reaches out the least. It's like, like, like your life at, at this point. But you got two. No, 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 babies. no, no. We knew what your life was gonna be at this point, mm -hmm. right? And we applaud you. We celebrate, we celebrate you. you. So we understand. Like, so don't what? ever feel like you're not doing enough. Yeah. Because if ever. We want you at this you point. Yeah. You know, I'm like, girl, I have a question. And I'm Anything. Like, I'm like, like, I'll text you. It, you are never not available. No, no. So then don't, you, you can't feel any kind of way because you're earning. This okay. is your life right. you created. Okay. And what a blessed life. Right. Okay. Because oh, wait, we celebrate you. Come on, girl. girl. Okay. Anybody we talk to? Ah, let me show you. <laughs> right. No, you no, no. no. She's a viral. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Even yesterday, we mm -hmm. went to the place we went to, mm -hmm. and now 
It's like, oh no, you're gonna have to use him because she's super viral. Mm -hmm. And we Ah. shared that with him and you have another resource, right? Oh, I would say that I am resource lady. And I love to make connections with other people. Alicia is that like that magnet that draws just she's Mm -hmm. just people are just Drawn to have your personality, no, like you, you will talk a wall, the paint off a wall. You gonna talk to you? In a good way, in a good way. I'm not a stranger. I'm not a stranger. But that's what. So I think one of the next questions were, oh, what did I, what did we learn from each other? I can promise you, I learned. You Ooh. taught me how to be a good girlfriend. You taught me. You were the impetus for me coming out of my shell and and. Um, Cause I was getting elevated, not that I was. My mind is always on the next, mm-hmm. so I'm in the. I had the resting, uh, not so nice person face uh-huh. and, and posture. Okay. So um, you and I can be honest. Sheila said it to me too that you need to smile. I was why are you smiling at people? I'm, I'm I'm thinking about stuff. Okay, but it makes you look like you're unapproachable, mm-hmm. which I didn't understand because mm-hmm. there is no one that I would approach. I don't. There's no. I, if right. I need something. I wanted to talk to you. I approach. So I don't understand why people feel like they can't I don't understand that but but she and you that, drew that but I she told me but you showed me by example so it is my true belief is I am a person that I am I try to be kind to everybody right so when you're kind to people the blessings overflow mm. so we had an incident yesterday where we needed to make some travel Tra- arrangements yes, right so we had to change cars I, was, I, Alicia was I said oh okay will you what's your name she told me. She said she was from North Carolina. Well, like, first, 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 she said, um, uh, "Okay, I changed the flight. Let me, let me, go, let me um, get some numbers together. I'll I, tell you what the fee is going to be." Oh, and, and you I were like, said, "Oh, this could be a courtesy." She was like, "Hold on." Yeah. And she, mm-hmm. she made it a courtesy. She did. And even better than that, she is from where we live, mm-hmm. and Carmen actually knew her, mm-hmm. so it was amazing. Yeah, it was a and full circle moment. I put her phone in my phone because I will be reaching out to her again. Yeah. Yes. But that's just like, that is the way that I imagine life to be. You know, as brown and black people, we don't always create the networks. Mm-hmm. So it's important to move in the space of creating networks. At 50 years old, mm-hmm. we have to do that. And be right? cognizant and seize the opportunity Every when it presents itself. Time, I, guess, I remember I that. When we came to Dallas the last time, we went mm-hmm. shopping, mm-hmm. and the gentleman, we were in the Fendi store, you bought. They were back there. They were back there. Did you add? Oh, Matthew. We had such an amazing time. The, if you ever go to Highland Park in Dallas and go to the Fendi store, ask for Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, like Matthew brought the champagne. It was my what? It was my birthday. He brought a champagne he did. out. Oh, we he had. did. He did. But we were really kind to mm-hmm. Matthew. Mm-hmm. You had already established a relationship mm-hmm. with Matthew, and he was welcome very us. welcoming. Welcome us right on he in. was very welcoming. So and we were speaking to everybody as we were walking, and oh, we spoke to the guy walking down the sidewalk. He was like, "Oh, hey, ladies, come on, we're having oh, a party." So so they were having the, the the store, the boutique was collaborating with a um, vodka Mama. brand, mm-hmm. and so they were having a little shindig inside the store. They had ca- we could sit down and drink, and they had knickknacks and candy. We <laughs> laughed and Kiki and Kaka all yes. day. No. To the <laughs> point, and this happens often mm-hmm. when we're together, we get <laughs> into a space where it actually causes the energy in the room to shift. Yes. Everybody yes, is like, oh, what the heck are they so jolly about, uh-huh. right? And I want to say it demystifies the angry black woman mm-hmm. because we are <laughs> a bunch of goofs. <laughs> like, we absolutely love to be in the company of each other. Yes. I came in a day early and could and I, me and Angela went out and it was nice to have one-on-one time. Oh, we had some good chicken from the Cowboy Chicken. Oh, it was Ooh, good. It was good. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, right? Wait, wait. Right. But also, we couldn't wait for, for Carmen to come in. And I was on the phone kept saying, I'm coming. I'm coming, you all. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And then you and got here. And once I got here, it just mm-hmm. felt complete. And yeah. Everything fell into place. I felt my safety. You know, that's the one thing I get from this sisterhood. Oh. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, I'm gonna not cry. gonna cry. But no matter what's going on in my life, safety. Oh, we got they, you. They, they, 
I had some incidents a couple of weeks ago. And just to be in their presence, my cup got filled. Well, it was and I felt like I could go a little bit longer. That's crazy. A little bit longer. So the thing is, Carmen had an incident, and I was just like, don't come, don't come. I was like, mm, okay, girl, I'll be over there in a few minutes, right? So, 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 we're together, Carmen and I sitting together, and Angela, you know, lives here in Dallas, and I called to say, Angela, this is what's going on. This girl said, I'm in grief, so I got to go tango. She said, what's going on, where you at, Carmen? So, I talked about this, but I ain't have no, I ain't give no name. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and, and Alicia said, Carmen is, first of all, what Alicia didn't tell you when she said, she told Carmen, I'll be there in a minute. Alicia lives two hours. <laughs> Carmen. No. Carmen's like, I'll be okay. Uh, two uh, hours uh, and ten uh, minutes, uh, Alicia's walking in the uh, door, because uh, that's how we roll. Yeah. Right. Right. So you don't sound okay. Uh, uh, you can no, tell me what you want to no. tell me, I'm coming. No, okay. Right. And so, I'm the third wheel of this triangle, and so she was like, okay, they got together, and she was like, don't call Angela. I'm gonna call Angela. Angela, where you at? Cause Carmen is where you at? I, I'm I'm literally 45 minutes away. How insane! Because we, we were just gonna pop in Greensboro and pop out. It, 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 no, I, I didn't even know you. We, I didn't know you. I'm not even gonna say how I no. am offended by that, but that's you know what? That's what God, I am. I'm not gonna talk about. God had a plan. God, he uh -huh. never failed uh -huh. us, right? Yeah. And so and you got here a day early, so we got some one-on-one -on -one time. Uh -huh. And just so happened, I had something else planned that I had to attend to. I was with Shay. Uh -huh. And so Alicia picked hey, Carmen Shay. up from the air. Hey, Shay. Alicia picked Carmen up from no, the no, airport. No. So they had... Back paddle a little bit. What? To what? Brother Ben, production assistant, gave me a ride to the nail shop. We had the best conversation. He, he gave me so much host. insight. I'm not outside of you, but production has been the best. Host. First of all, he cooked us an amazing dish. Oh, dinner. Yes, they he made God. a steak on a green egg, asparagus, and, and, and garlic potatoes. Garlic potatoes. Mm -hmm. Not just garlic potatoes, smoked garlic potatoes. Mm -hmm. We smoked the garlic and then we had heavy cream. And, and we did any restaurant we could have went to. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. we sat at the kitchen table for probably two oh. hours of, with the best conversation. And yeah. it's nice to have a male perspective. Oh, we appreciate a male perspective. He just fit right on in with us. The production is so fire yes. that he came out to the car to help Angela get her things. And I got back in the car so he could open the door for me. <laughs> and that has been the treatment since we've been here. But that's who he is. Mm. But then, we, then once you got here, I had something to do with Shay. Mm -hmm. So then you and Alicia had opportunity to get some one-on-one -on -one time mm -hmm. together yep, yep, yep. in Dallas. So y'all got to do the thrifting and then, and then we, we came back together. We won't talk about yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let, let's just say we had a... So another one for the book. So for you all that don't know, so I turned into Big 50. And then, Oh. So that's why I'm not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't have biological sisters, but these are my sisters. Oh, from Vicky these Dan. are my sisters. From Vicky these Dan. are my sisters. And you ask, what was the one thing I have learned? Uh huh. It's how to love. Uh huh. Be transparent. Um, and just be open mm -hmm. to friendship, sisterhood from other women. I'm mm -hmm. the baby of my siblings. I didn't have any older sisters. I've always been very reserved when it comes to letting people in my circle. But boy, oh boy, this circle right here. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Absolutely I wouldn't trade not. It. There's no place. No, there's, no, 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 there's nothing no. like it. There's nothing no. like it. Mm -hmm. Not at all. So I, I learned how to be a good sister from you. I learned from you the fierceness. When I tell you, fierce. The babies don't. The babies don't calm them down though. They they have they have softened those edges. All the statuesqueness. Fiercely protective. Fiercely loyal. All of what that. What did y'all say? The first to cry. First and cry, the first to fight. fight. Mm -hmm. That we would be Carmen. That if something go okay. down, it would be Carmen mm -hmm. be the first to cry mm -hmm. and the first to and fight. And I'll be the first for negotiation, but, but I will. At least you'll be like, wait a minute. Yes, but I will, I, will, I, will, I will 
try to negotiate, but I will step and in. And I'm going to be like, whatever it. goes down, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. with the, we, I'm with the with it. Yeah. Yes. Whatever goes down, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, it's, I it's all for one and one for all. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. we're going to cut that out. Okay. I think okay. We're going to cut that out. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that, that presents a, a, the angry black woman like we're going to kill everybody. We're not. We're not. What did I learn from you? Me? I learned that <laughs> I learned true intimacy of a friendship. Like K Carmen is somebody, not that you're not because oh, you no. are, but we have a different relationship. Like yeah. we have a different relationship, and there's no jealousy amongst uh -uh. it. Right? Oh, no. But because of who Carmen and I are, uh, I get to share some other things. And baby girl, a big sis right here said, y'all cut me out the loop, right? <gasps> and, wait, hold on, let me no. that. Wait, 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 wait. She said, I said, well, you were away and we did not want you worrying about no. things you didn't have access to control. And we knew the but ultimate goal for you going over there, right? So mm -hmm. was your peace, peace. I mean, right. to find it. So uh -huh. why? leak on to you. I didn't get mad. I didn't but tell I'm you like, like, angry. But, I, but I've been home like three, so I was okay. And I know that took some transition, but I just didn't let y'all know, oh, oh, okay, now. Now y'all can keep me. And so they were very protective of my peace because when I left, I, I was in disarray. Right. And I needed some peace. Right. And then I found Ben and it was just, and we have been very happy. We just, we have been very happy. Not to say it's been perfect, but we've been Nothing very happy. Right. And they've been very protective of me and my peace. Absolutely. By Taking Absolutely. care of any issues that um, oh, transpired in their lives mm -hmm. to themselves, taking care, handling uh, even to the themselves. extent of anything going on in your home life that we could navigate, navigate like for anything you. going with Shadia, anything Frankies, going on with the babies, yeah. and we would step in. More Carmen, and Carmen would say, "I need you to do such and such." Absolutely, mm -hmm. there's not a thing that you can ask me See, for. I don't even know what y'all talking about. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Like, I mean, we are. It was what yes. as Carrie, Bra Carrie says. It was handled. Yeah. <laughs> it was handled. Yes. It was handled. It was handled. Okay. Oh, it was a given because, okay. like, when I left. Just so I can, you know, Shad is my only uh, only birth child I birth. You know, I have two other babies. Y'all see on it. Y'all mm -hmm. see, but y'all yeah. see on it. Oh, yes. 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 But when I left to go to Saudi, we got sat down and made Carmen Shadia's health care power of attorney. Mm -hmm. That's that's how much I loved and trusted Absolutely. her. Absolutely. So it, that's and then I was in the room when she had the oldest baby. Yes. Yeah, I was there when she had the second. She had Karina. I was in Saudi. Mm -hmm. And a year later, Shadi, did Shadi have Michael first or you had Karina Michael was first. first. And then, because we got pictures of Ben holding Karina when as she a baby. baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the first time you always so came back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this this relationship has just been amazing. So am I supposed to, oh, I told you, did, did, what did you, did you say what you learned from Alicia? Did I? I don't know. See, this how we get sidetracked. That's oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Did I say what I learned from you? I think I said for both of you all, I learned how to love and be open, right? Yes, oh, yes. That's what, okay. And allow people into my circle. Unconditional. What, what, yes. what I learned initially from Angela is that she didn't recognize who she was as a woman, how mm, powerful how she was. Mm -hmm. And externally, she was flawlessly beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I have always been of the mindset to give compliment when I feel it's necessary. But she had this little hard hairdo, <laughs> this little thing sitting, this little bun sitting on top of her head. I was like, oh. And she said, I walked around with, uh, with the um, oh, the snake face. face, and I told her, and you didn't even know I told her I wasn't ha I wasn't happy. So what was what I was feeling on the inside, what I was living through on the inside, showed on the outside, and I didn't know. I was right. just moving through life, just trying to uh, 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 pay, uh, was it was it. 
brought Peter to pay Paul. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And just trying to, I was, I was trading water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he showed on the outside. All I knew was to go to work, and so I can go to work and go to work and go to work and right. um, focus. And I did not know. I did not realize. So I, it, when I became happy, uh huh, it showed. It showed. Right. I want to mention that this happened when we were thirty. Right. Mm -hmm. So we've been friends. 30. It happened Sorry, Maya. Maya is 24. So um, I know for a fact I've known you since you were potty training her when she was one, one to two. two. So, so at least minimum 22 years. Right. So what I want to say, it, it, this happened in our 30s. Like we found this community. I want to say that I moved from New Jersey and I, my daughter is 30. I moved 30 years ago and I had slipped into a depression and I had to figure out how to create a community because I lived in a space where there were so, so many people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And all I knew was want womanly support, right? And I think that's what I've added to the situation oh, yes. because the way my mama is, the way she is with her, her group, the way my sister is with her group, the way we are with each other, it is, it is this, it is yes. this, it is this, it is, it is so this. So this was new for, I had relationships with friends, um, called, but to see a group of women just meshing well, I, I didn't grow up seeing yeah, I had to learn it too. No, no, yeah, I, I, had to I didn't it. see that growing up, oh, growing up at all, and I didn't see that. And my mission statement has always been to have good friends, you have to be a mm. good friend, right? Mm -hmm. So that means that, a case in point, I have a friend, we have a friend who's in need mm -hmm. this morning. I said, let me see what I can do to figure this out. So we call a friend, again. another mm -hmm. friend who's a therapist, a Christian-based therapist. She gave a word of prayer that we all was thanking Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Started the day off right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So if you had to ask your younger self, if you, if you could ask her what do you need now to be a better woman as you age? What would you be, what would you give your younger friend, what I your would, younger self? I would give my younger self more grace, mm -hmm. more ho hugs, mm -hmm. because what I do understand as a 52 year old is that what you need, you already have, mm -hmm. right? God has given us all that we need, right? He's given us the way that we should live our lives and I learned maybe at 47 because I'm a person of physical touch and I don't think and this is no shade to anybody um, I don't think I was hugged enough as a child and it is because I have an insatiable appetite right like I physical need touch. a lot I require I'm a lot in his own right and I need that but you and, also give a lot oh yes yeah 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 I give right but I learned in that I would say to my, I would learn how to love myself more hug myself more because what I do know in the scientific world if you hug yourself Mm -hmm. 10 seconds, it'll release the same oxytocin that is present from a six, seven, six second hug from another person. Oh, really? Yeah. So if you hug yourself, you'll get those same release of endorphins. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay. A good squeeze. It mm -hmm. will make your brain feel like you've been in the, in the arms of someone who loves you. Because you have been. I don't think okay. to piggyback on what you're saying, I would tell my younger self, and I know it's cliche, but you are enough. Oh, mm -hmm. like you just are enough. Mm -hmm. Just right there. That's, that's, the, it. that's it. You are. Enough. What would you tell your younger self? Oh, because she, uh, my younger self. If I look back, she's sad. Um, and I would tell her that somebody does love you. Mm -hmm. I would tell her somebody does love you. You mm -hmm. you are loved, and mm -hmm. I would hug her as well because mm -hmm. that physical touch I did not get either. Oh. <laughs> She's a toucher, see? <laughs> I would tell her that you were loved. And, and um, as I got older, I knew there were people that loved me, but I was, I needed to be told. Right. Um, and not, I, of course I needed to be shown, but I needed to be told. And I would tell her that, that you are loved and that you're beautiful because, you know, as younger children, you, you probably, you came from the era when I was old, I'm dark skinned. Um, and dark skin was uh, not popular when mm -hmm, I was young. Mm -hmm. So, but look at you. When you're, <laughs> but when you're being told that you're ugly and, and being picked on for being dark skinned, and then there's no one 
counterbalancing that, that's all you hear the negativity about it until, so I was in my mid twenties before I thought that I was beautiful in my skin. So you met me after the first person that really made me believe. Okay. Um, and I probably was like, oh no, you, I don't know, cause I graduated nursing school. Um, the first person that um, was Gus that told me again and again and again, it took probably a year and a half of them telling me that I was beautiful for me to believe it. Mm. So I was just learning or I, I heard it, but I didn't feel it. Right. But so that in itself is a reflection of what you were going through. So that makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. in retrospect as to why you showed up in the way that you did. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. Okay. So my next question um, is, what do you admire about each of us most? I'm going to start. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I love the way you parent your children. <sighs> Girl. Okay, so I was 19 when I had Shadia, so 19-year-olds should not be having babies. Okay. okay. I can honestly tell you, I was feeding her one day. I felt stink. She just fell on the <laughs> Oh, jeez. I oh, don't geez. know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> She dropped the whole baby on the floor. Please don't report my friend. She 34 I dropped the whole baby on the floor. But from the jump, from the jump, the way you parented Christian, the, the, the attention to detail, to his his food, like, oh, he's starting to spit up a lot. I don't think he disagrees with his stomach. Oh, and yeah. just from the the... The you do not play, and not that we don't play about our kids, but the way but you parent different. your children it's is different. on a whole and different I, level. I mean, you are it's almost it's almost perfection to watch. No, 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 no. I know, I know, okay. no, 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 but I'm telling it's you, closest. if you gonna, if you gonna okay. engage in between you and me, mm. me and her, girl, you do it. We can, you, we can, you get it, and not from you all, but so yeah, but in our failures, <laughs> yes, right, <laughs> right. right. My story, right? Right, right. I had my children, let me see, 35 and 42. Uh huh. So, for me, I recognize not that all children are, aren't a blessing, but they were the blessing for me at that point in my life. Mm -hmm. So, I just feel like God has given them to me, and I'm going to do everything in my power and to you protect and guide. Yeah, I just, yes. I just have to do it. And then, you know, the story of. I never thought I was gonna have kids, mm -mm. and then mm -hmm. here I am with two. So beautiful. I give it my all. Ooh, yes, you my it shows. So thank yes, you. It show. Oh, thank you. They are pristine. You could go over Carmen's house and, and tell the children come in the living room. Go ahead, do a Gap commercial. <laughs> <laughs> My baby, her hair, she the edge is gonna be hanging out. That means I can't be clean. She was clean and fresh. She got it all out. I'll set the tone whether you think it's failures or not. And then you know, I was calling, hey, hey, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, help me out. You well, all. see, we didn't even call. We was like, oh, we'll, well figure it out. But, that's but the, I just, I love that. I just want like you to I didn't say, know. I want you to know it's admirable. You Thank are doing man. an excellent job. It is just. Thank you. Yes. Hi. Hi. How Did many TikToks do I tell you since you say them? <laughs> Girl, you're doing a good job. Thank you. Girl, you're doing a Thank good you. job. Oh, wow. Mm. Y'all just don't try to make me cry, huh? What I admire about Angela is her courage. Mm. I don't think we've talked about this before. No. The courage to do something different. We lived a very safe, a very mm -hmm. comfortable middle class life mm -hmm. where you would never have to worry about any lights mm -hmm. being cut mm -hmm. off. There was, we grew up in a scarcity mindset. Mm -hmm. So exploring was not how on the list travel was, mm -hmm. but being able to remove yourself from deciding that this is not a healthy place for me, having enough courage to transition into the Middle East we had a going away party. I, I, it, we, did. We, did. we were super, super excited for mm -hmm. her. But, but Carmen and I time. were so worried mm -hmm. about our baby mm -hmm. being in a place where we couldn't get to mm -hmm. her if she needed that. And y'all didn't tell me. Y'all didn't tell me. Because y'all didn't want me to be upset no, about it. No, if you had... When you just got your shoulder surgery, I said, do you need me to come? I was coming to stay for two weeks. I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. But the courage 
to make a major life decision is mind blowing. And the courage, the aftermath of it all, look how well this turned out for you. What if you did not have the courage to do that? You inspire me to be more courageous. You know what it was? It wasn't courage, it was faith. I prayed oh, I about that. it, it was faith. I, it was I nothing that. but she had said I that. I prayed too. about it, I was like, Lord, I'm gonna go over here. I don't know nothing about this country. If you don't want me to go, if this is not the right thing, I'm gonna need you to tell me. I'm gonna need you to tell me this is not. I ain't heard nothing. Oh, oh, it might <laughs> So it was all faith and maybe some um, ignorance too, because I didn't well, know. Well, you know, there's, there's something know. to be ignorance, right? <laughs> there's something to be afraid. You know, it, it's a protection. Mm -hmm. It's protection. But that's but what I love faith. about you is I'm gonna say the courage and the faith to do something different. What I love about you is the fact that you are the most reliable person I have ever encountered in 52 years. Thank you. Outside of my sister, because Thank she you. and I, you know, we came Thank from you. the same cooter so. But <laughs> the reliability, mm -hmm. the, the way you show up for me. Mm -hmm. The way you just you show up for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Stop it. We said we couldn't cry. But it's the truth. Yes. Do you know that's who you are? I think so. that's one of the things I've learned to pride myself in. Yeah, because when I love, I love hard. I well, love other so thing hard. is that Carmen, sir, Carmen, keep it tight, tight. So you have to be able to permeate that circle to get to the goodness, right? And I think that's a. I I often thought it wasn't a positive, but I know that it is because not everybody deserves to have to have access to to such a, a goodness gym, that is you, right? Not everybody deserves to have access. So that's something that I've implemented in my own life is putting up another boundary. Because now I have this cert I have this I tier system of friends, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, this, I have this a, is tough. Yeah, I have a tier system, right? Mm -hmm. And these are my sisters, but I have a few more, mm -hmm. you know, that I I ride yes. hard oh, for. Yeah. You know. But also in yeah. the beauty of this too is we all have other sisters, right? Yes. But we collectively embrace them. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 As yes. if. As if. As and if. Because yes. of. And Carmen is, Carmen is, when she loves, I don't want to cry. Uh, you know, go ahead, 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 go ahead. We just. Stop it, stop it, stop We just don't cry this makeup off. <laughs> The way you have embraced your idea. She's mine. You never She's repay mine. you. You don't have never. to. You have with your sisterhood. I, ne I could never. That is how you repay me with your sisterhood. Like when I was in Saudi and Shadi was having trouble with when she was pregnant with Micah and I couldn't be there. And then after I came home and I went back and she had cardiac problems, Carmen was in the hospital. She was like, calm down, I got her. She was there for the baby. She gave his, gave his, what's the poo bear? Poo bear. That's poo bear. Poo bear. Yeah. Micah is popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he popped right out. And then when he was born, he had to have that little pat on his head. Yeah, so it just reminded me of, you know, the old school popcorn. Mm -hmm. Thank you, production. Thank you, thank you. We so said even we before she even had babies, I think one day I called you. I said, what you doing? Cause she did have this summer, she had got on my last nerve. I said, what you doing? She in the parking lot at the mall, meeting she did, giving her <laughs> she a box of pots. She needed some pots. That baby needed some pots. She never moved out. You called the tongue <laughs> chunk, right? Yeah, I'm in the parking lot with Shadi, meeting she did, get her some pots. She don't need no pots. You don't tell me what to do. I'm giving my baby some That's surprise. right. That's right. Yeah. That's so right. the way you have embraced As I would do of, for Alicia. Oh, my God. Oh, so, yes. Yes. So, so little Karina is. Um, oh, God. Carmen's, Carmen's, <laughs> that is my. That's, that's Carmen's baby. Own, the baby of the bunch. But we I have some other babies, too. So I, I sent Carmen a package. <laughs> 
And the, it, I, because I sent Karina packages that had her name on it, so she opened up the package and it wasn't for her, right? <laughs> They were actually nipple covers. She wanted to I was gonna say an adult that. item. No, well, that alludes to something different. These oh, were all okay. nipple okay. covers. Okay. So she, I was like, oh, I need to send my baby a box. I haven't sent her anything. The worst of it is I ordered it, but they delivered it to my house. So then I ordered my baby um, Karina something, and I ordered baby Shayla something. Her name is not baby Shayla, her name is baby Stormy. I sent her something, and the joy that it brings, right? The smallest items. I haven't been able to see Karina yet, but I have a box of things But she knows it's coming. But she knows it's all coming. Right? Because it's the coming. babies are the babies, mm -hmm. right? And when you love the mama, you love the babies, right? Mm -hmm. So this village, is truly that I'm a transplant to yeah. North Carolina mm -hmm. and I you guys have the love between Tracy and, mm -hmm. and Tia yeah. and just Shakitha and mm -hmm. Angel and yeah. the sisterhood has held up I've been through a, a divorce a death a home loss a Another death. Another mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. You know, and other things. <laughs> but <laughs> we are the, 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 the foundation for which I get to lean on, I'll never get to fall. Mm -hmm. And it's a faith driven foundation. It is. Absolutely. Right? It is. We are foolish, but we also know who He is. We love the Lord. Mm -hmm. So if we were talking to our a younger, 30 year old ladies, what advice would we give them at? from a sisterly um, perspective of how they can situate themselves to have this sort of relationship. What do you have to, I can say first, you have to be open to Honesty. Honesty and hear what your sister is. Because we're going, we, we are, we mirror each other. Mm -hmm. Like Lisa, it's a whole situation. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa was like, Lot, that's my maiden name, don't do it. I got your back. But girl, don't do it. I'm telling you, don't. I it did don't it. don't matter what happened. I did it, and she did have my back. But she told me, and then along the way, as I'm going through, because she told me not to do it, and I did it. She never said, I took. Well, maybe she did laugh, and then we laughed about it. But, but she was there every step of the way. I got you. I got you. And so you have to be open to hearing stuff that you don't want to hear. Um, from your sisters and not take it personally. It's personal because it's she loves you. It's hard not to take it personal. And she wants the personal. best for you. I just, I said something to Angela yesterday. Oh, I, and sometimes I'm a bit unhinged. And I said, oh, you're, you're just gonna be looking cute and you're gonna have oh, us God. looking ugly. <laughs> and, and so we were in the room, I was getting a little bit of arm oh, candy. And I, I was like, you know, I didn't mean that. She was like, you know, you hurt my feelings. I was like, girl, I'm so sorry. It is not my intentions I hurt your feelings. And then in my mind, my sister told me, it doesn't matter what your intentions are, it's what happened. That's right. Right? So you have to make it right. Mm -hmm. And I apologize. And that's the beauty. You did. You did. And the other part is there is nothing that can happen to Angela, that can happen to Carmen, that is going to stop this sisterhood. Mm -hmm. there, I can't even think if you, but for, because of the way I love my sisters, the things that I have done. But you know, I was sitting here thinking, I don't think we've ever fallen out. We haven't. Like like a disagreement oh, no. to the point somebody's that angry. No, no. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have a, a we had we, I had one little unhinged moment because it happens. Now we were going to the harbor and <laughs> we were <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh, God, yes. Okay, okay. So that was Angela so, just coming back to North Carolina, right? Right, right, right. right. So, you know, it's still the protecting mode or protective mode of her. You know, there was some things that, we hadn't discussed. Right, So right. when we all came together, she kind of came out, apparently. Right? <laughs> and friend was like, and I was like, and she was like, like, and I had to say, mm 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 mm. mm. We, we don't have, have a talk. Yeah, we don't <laughs> <laughs> have a talk. And then she was like, oh. oh. Mm -hmm. But there's not been a falling out. No, no, no. no. no but no that was a hiccup, though. That was a hiccup that I, you needed to have all the pieces. You needed the information. Mm -hmm. But it was in, out of protection mm -hmm. that we didn't give you that information mm -hmm. at that time. But that hiccup was like, it like was 30, hiccup. 40 minutes. No, but that was all. That was it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. So we're not. Because so to tell a younger 
yourself in that what you say? Honesty? Um, I, I said you, say you need to be I say that loyalty. I said you need to be open to your sister being honest with you. Mm -hmm. Even when you don't want to hear what she has to say, you have to be open to that. Because if I can't tell you and be honest with you, how close are, are we really sister? How yeah, close what are, are we? we? Doing? Yeah. What are we doing? I would tell myself to be in preparation for who you want to be in your life. If I am looking, if I know that I'm a person who values loyalty, I'm a person who values virtuousness, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm going to be a Proverb 31 woman, if I am, if oh I God. am a per, I know you are. No, I said, come on now, like you're oh, preaching. No. Okay. No, no, I'm not preaching. You're not. No, in a good way. No, no. This is how we get off track. So <laughs> I'm going to finish. This is how we get off track. And the menopause just took the thought. If you're yeah, going to be a, if you're gonna be a Proverbs 31 woman, you're going to have to. You yeah. have to be in preparation to be her, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to be a good friend, you have to, And this is what I tell my girls. How are you asking somebody to be something more what than you who you are? What you can't give. That's right. right. That's right. You right. need, I need to be... I need to be loyal. I need to be available. Yes. I need to be supportive. Mm -hmm. I need to be uncomfortable at That's some point. You, if you don't, if you're not willing to suffer for mm -hmm. something, do you love me? You have. There will be some sacrifice, and it mm -hmm. won't. If that's your true sister, it, 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 it'll feel like a little sacrifice to them. It may feel like a big sacrifice, but you have you have to be willing to be uncomfortable. Like that two-hour drive, I'm, I'm dropping everything. My yeah. sister needs me. She's saying she damn and talking. My I'm okay, but she ain't okay. I hear her. I'm yeah, that two hours. That, that's that two hours, I'm sorry. I'm not going to see to any that. more patients today because I got to go. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so the sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. Sa a part of loving is sacrifice, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. if you're not. I'm not saying we you need to catch up and a commitment to it. So, like all of our husbands know this is a package. Like when you you married, when Ben married me, he married got all. He got all. He got like six wives. So so I hate that fool. No, you don't. Absolutely, I'm a huge fan. I've been. I'm a huge fan of Brother Ben. I am a huge fan. The first time I met him, when y'all first came from Saudi, oh, I was, was like, like, thank oh, you. Okay. Now I feel okay. She's all right. Yeah. And she's safe that over she, there. We know so that she's going to always yeah. be provided for. Yeah, it took like this huge weight off of me. Because mm -hmm. you heard me talk about him. You mm -hmm. saw him, in, but mm -hmm. the meeting but him in see, person. to see, too, the chemistry, the interaction, and to meet him, genuinely. Because right? of the care And he the love provided. he has for my sister. Oh. You are right with me. You are right. Yeah. And, and you get you get you get you get me and you get this commitment, you get this love, yeah. you get all of the things that they have for me, they have for you. Mm -hmm. It's like when you're I, I was able to work with them for your fiftieth birthday, we couldn't come home. Oh yes. Oh. And he set it all up to have that surprise oh. zoom for you. And y'all yes. like stop crying. Um, <laughs> one, one more thing I can say I did get from Angela is the I did get in your circle with Sheila and Phyllis, right? So these oh, are the amazing. elders of the mm -hmm. tribe, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We don't get I can't to wait for y'all to meet Ronnie or talk to, right to, to to them as often. But I have tried to um, definitely include Miss Sheila because she's been my mentor in this journey I'm on. Mm -hmm. We are somebody always on the journey, right? <laughs> <laughs> because we are evolutionary women. We're always doing something okay. right mm -hmm. so Sheila had been my mentor and what I'm saying what I got from Angela was Sheila and Phyllis with a wealth of knowledge when you need to seek counsel from the elders mm -hmm. she is she, she is, is that. she is it she okay, so production is behind the camera saying we need to wrap it up. Okay. And Carmen needs we, to get to the airport. Yes, yes. Is there yes, anything yes. else you like to say? I don't know. my pillows. Oh, no. I'm just, I don't feel like I got to answer what I admire about you all. Okay. Then I guess, go ahead. But then I done lost my train of thought, too. So, okay. I, maybe a part two? Uh-uh. Right now. Oh, gosh. I'm on the spot. I, I know what I admire about you is your, your heart. Like, you have such an open, pure heart that you've showed me how to love. You love me. I see how you interact with others. And it's so selfless. Like, even when you were going through and not too sure of things yourself, mm -hmm. you showed up and you showed up 100%. So I admire your open, loving, 
genuine heart, oh, your, your spirit, so like your spirit. Yeah, I, I admire that. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah. I'm always, in, like, I don't see mm -hmm. myself the way I think. Mm -mm, and you don't. And that's what's the beauty of it, too. Like, I don't even think you realize how genuine you are in your, your love. How open your heart is, how big your heart is. And what she how always her words are. What do I need to do? Right. What do I need to do? Right. What do I need to do? Yeah. I'm like, sit down. Yeah. She can't do that. But, I can't, I can't, uh -oh. I can't. And Alicia, your resilience. Ooh. I you may not feel it. You may not feel like you want to be that. Oh yeah. But you are. But I, I, I see you want to be, be yourself. You want you're yeah, your I, soft. I don't, I don't, yeah. You're your no, soft. No, no, no. I but, you're, but you're in your soft era. But we, you don't want to be that known as that strong woman. No, I'm but not saying it from is that different perspective. From strong. Okay. I'm saying it from the things you've been through, the challenges, how you always bounce back, and, 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 and you two show up, uh -huh. and you're present in the moment uh -huh. despite what you got going on, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you always figure it out. Like, I, not. In a, I know you don't like the strong girl, strong yeah, woman. Yeah, I don't like her. No, you're very soft. You're very oh, soft. Thank you. But you, and, but you, you but use all, you, very, you use all the resources yes. to figure it out and get it done. Thank you. You don't crash. Like oh, you may yeah. feel like it internally. Uh huh. But Carmen says you have 24 hours to yeah. get it together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is that is a takeaway. You have 24 hours mm -hmm. tomorrow. You will mm -hmm. have to figure out mm -hmm. something. We'll have to have a meeting of the mind, and mm -hmm. we'll get it figured out tomorrow. We have okay. a lot of grace in this. Oh, system. A lot that's of one grace. thing I have yes. learned in mm -hmm. 50 is I give myself so much grace. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's illegal to give <laughs> yourself that much grace because it can fall. You know, it can be ha become harmful. We won't let it. I know that's right. We won't let it. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we wrap it up? Yep. Production. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank y'all. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> and we had a ball at Usher last night. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. This week's to come, maybe. Huh? Did you take pictures? I don't even think you took a picture. I was too busy dancing in no cowboy yes. boots. I wore my cowboy boots. If you have not seen Usher, it is highly recommended. Yes. Highly recommended. It is worth every dime. So thank y'all. When thank we come you. back, we will have, uh, thank we'll you have all. a little spring. Thank yeah. you all. Oh, thank you guys for supporting yes. such an amazing yes. channel. Thank this you girl has grown her in production. Oh. They have, oof. This from, from video one to video yeah. 1000. Oh, what video are y'all? I, I don't know. No I don't I no know. Clue. I was just. Okay. Oh, okay. It is a major production. It is an investment. So keep sowing seeds into this. Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Like, keep subscribe. <laughs> Go look at the like, subscribe, share. and share. See you guys later. We love you. Bye bye. bye. Oh, that was so much fun. Thank you. Yay, we made it. It was a lot of talking. It was. It's gonna